Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org. What are you reading there? That's pretty gross. It's um, Psychology by Richard Gross. Any good? Otherwise known as Richard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any good? No, it's absolutely load rubbish. Absolute crap. They don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> Study of mind and behaviour. Uh, anything else you can recommend to read then? Well, yeah. Um, I, I definitely recommend this. What's that then? The Raw Material by Ra, humble messenger of the law of one. Hmm. Just out of interest, what year was this from? Not 82, 83 and 84. Oh, the early 80s then? It's absolutely fantastic. Um, there was this woman called Carla, she's still around actually, um, that channeled this uh, information from the people, or the, the um, energy personality um, essence called Ra, which is really artificial, a little bit like the sun, because that's not of time. But it's fascinating stuff. Anything of interest there, they, in particular? Well, something about governments and underground bases. Oh, well, that know. should be interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Would you like to hear some? Yes, most definitely. Hmm, Ra's session number eight, January the 26th, 1981. So it's 81, 82, 83. I think it went on to 84. And this is the law of one. You remember he said the other day, for are we not all one? Hmm. That's a clue to the theory of uh, relativity. Relativity, relate, we're all related. It doesn't mean about blood. It doesn't mean about race, because there's no race or game going on. It's if just there's a race, why has nobody won it yet? It's, you can't, can't be won. You're here for the experience. Did you forget? So this is fascinating. Um, I'll read a little bit, shall I? Please do. Yeah, Royal Session number 8, January 26, 1981. And these, these are the per this is personal material, can you see? It wasn't supposed to be released. Because some of this material's transient. <laughs> it means it's of a sensitive nature. Questioner. There is a certain amount of landing taking place on your plan on our planet. Some of these landings are of your own people. Some are of the group known to you as Orion. My first question is, what did you mean that some of these landings are of your peoples? Now we spoke a long time ago about the Orion group. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got a tickle in my throat. Our negative other selves use symbols of Orion, so they might be stars or pyramids and things like this, yeah? Because the three pyramids at Giza, um, Delta Epsilon and Zeta Orionis from the belt, the belt of uh, Orion. Oh, but there's not actually three pyramids there, is there? There's nine. Nine? It's maximum number in quantum. Strange that, isn't it? <coughs> strange to the strange. <laughs> excuse me. So, this You're is the excused. answer. Thank you. I am Ra. <clears throat> I'm wrong. Your peoples have, at this time stroke space at present, the technological achievement, if you would call it that, of being able to create and fly the shape and type of craft known to you as unidentified flying objects. Wait These... a minute, wait a minute. So in the 80s we had this, uh, this, this technology then? Mm hmm So where's it, where's it been hidden all this time? Oh, they explain that. Oh, continue. These devices are not intended for the service of mankind. Well, go to the foot of our stairs. <laughs> but for potential destructive use by governments. Governments? Destructive? As if that would be so. The governments are here to save us. Then it's all rigged. Hmm. Question, are these craft from our peoples, from what we call planes, that are not incarnate at this time? He thinks they're from another time. Where are they based? <laughs> I am raw. These are which we spoke of are third density or third dimension and are part of the so-called military complex of various of your people's societal divisional divisions or structures. The bases are varied. There are bases, as you would call them, under sea in your southern waters near the Bahamas. Ah, near my, near my, near my big place. <coughs> oh, near your great big mansion that yeah. you can't find. Yeah as well as in your Pacific seas in various places close to your Chilean borders on the water. There are bases upon your moon, as you call this satellite, which are at this time being reworked. Hmm. I wonder what that means. There are bases which move about your lands. There are bases, if you would call them that, in your skies. There are bases of your peoples, very numerous, and as, as we have said, potentially destructive. 
Mm. Questioner, where do the people who operate these craft come from? What is their source? These people come from the same place as you are, or you or I. They come from the Creator. So they are light then? Yes, love and light. Um, these people... Well, maybe without so much love. Well, you can have negative love. Hmm. And so you'll love you to death. Ah. Or I'll do something to you if you don't love me. That's how negative the self works, where we come with unconditional love. These people are those in yours and other selves' governments responsible for what you would term national security. <laughs> NSA, anyone? <laughs> GCHQ, anyone? Do you know there was a meeting today, wasn't there? G do, do we not mention this? No. G7. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah there was a bit on RT on uh, YouTube this morning, and um, there was a chap saying that uh, a load of people have been arrested. What people? Uh, protesters, they called them. Oh, so they arrested the wrong people then? Yeah, they... Should, they... Have been, should have been arresting those that were actually at the G7. Yeah, the, um, the, the puppet actors... Yes. Uh, ...that work for the corporations. They yeah. should have been the ones that arrested. It's coming. It's coming. <coughs> Excuse me about my cough today. <clears throat> Questioner, am I to understand then that the United States has the craft in underside, uh, undersea bases? I am Ra. You are correct. How did the United States learn the technology to build these craft? This is interesting. Hmm. I am Ra. There was a mind-body-spirit complex known to your people by the vibratory sound complex, now get this, Nikola. Well, it's got and to you know who that is, got to be Tesla, hasn't it? Sixth density wanderer. Came to um, came from down from the sixth density. He'd been through the third, fourth, and fifth before. In order, it, it came in error to to give us free energy. But J.P. Morgan yeah. didn't like that. And that that would explain how he could design and build something in his mind, without having to design and build it physically. And then he could work out all his problems in his mind, and then build the perfect whatever it was. That's the all-seeing eye. You see, it's the idea of, the, of infinite intelligence, where everything comes from, the mind, and it takes up no uh, physical space. It's metaphysical. This is what they don't teach you when you study physics. Mm. <clears throat> so after studying physics, I have to study metaphysics in order to understand it. The same as mathematics, they don't teach you numerology, so you only get half the, half the picture. Yep. How did the United States learn the technology to build these craft? Oh, right, Nikola Tesla. This entity departed the illusion, <laughs> this illusion camouflage, um, and the papers containing the necessary understandings were taken by modern mind body spirit mm. complexes serving your national security or national division complex NSA then the security agency thus your people became privy to the technology in the technology was given from one of the confederation in an attempt approximately 27 of your years ago to share information and bring about peace amongst your peoples. so if that was around 82 that was 762 55 ish 55 yeah four five That's, yeah. Well, the president in america at the time was roosevelt mm. and uh, he apparently met with the with the aliens at roswell mm. so i'm told i've really heard several rumors so. about that sort of thing yes uh, the entities given this information were in error, but we did many things at the end of this cycle in attempts to aid your harvest from which we had learned the folly of certain types of aid. <clears throat> that is a contributing factor to our more cautious approach at this date, even as the need of power upon power greater and your people's call is greater and greater. Hmm. Questioner, I'm puzzled by these craft which have undersea bases. What is the basic mechanism of their power source? It's really hard to believe what I'm saying. I can imagine it. I'm raw. These craps, craft are perhaps. <laughs> I'm not very good at reading. I'm still entirely alone. I'm raw. These craft are perhaps misnamed in some instances. It would be more appropriate to consider them as weaponry. Oh, that's governments for you, isn't it? Yes. I can't use these things for good instead of something else. The energy used is that of a field of electromagnetic energy which polarizes the Earth sphere. The weaponry is of two basic kinds. That which is called by your people's psychotronic. Wow. And that which is called by your people's particle beam. The amount of destruction which is contained in this technology is considerable, and the weapons have been used in many cases to alter weather patterns. And, ah, oh, hop uh -huh. device. And enhance the vibratory change which engulfs your planet at this time. It goes on to say... The maximum speed of this craft is equal to the Earth energy squared. Hmm. This field varies. The limit is approximately one and a half the light speed, as you would call that, as 300 millimeters a second. 
Although which light and what source, I'm not quite sure. <coughs> I am wrong. The technology of your people possess at this time is capable of resolving each and every limitation which plagues your social memory complex. Have we not been saying this for years and years this, and years? Yeah, at this present nexus of experience. Yeah, free energy, anyone? Oh, JP Morgan. No, no, no. How can I charge for that? That's what we'll call it, electric. And this was nearly 35 years ago. Yeah. Right, why did the Orion Group land here? And you know the Orion Group, they use pyramids, and you see that on all the Illuminati stuff. I think it's oh, the same one. Hell. Somebody trying to call us again. Or it's you that's just become popular. Don't call us about that stuff. Yeah, same one as last time. <clears throat> we know who that is. We'll yeah. talk to you later. Why did the Orion Group land here? Have you noticed we were going to do a little film about cars and you can see all the Orion group have got all their badges on, on all the cars. You've got the Renault pyramid like this, and then you've got the, the, the wings from ancient Egypt on the Mini and mm. the rising sun. and They're all on cars. BMW looking down on the top of the pyramid. <coughs> well, yeah, the, the Mitsubishi, Apex you join the triangles up and you've got a pyramid <coughs> again. Yeah, but we could, Mercedes. We've talked about all this. Yeah, Mercedes, you join them three points up, pyramid. Mm. I am mm. raw. Their purpose is conquest. Ah. And like those of the Confederation who wait for the calling, there's a Confederation of Nine, which I tried to contact. I know, uh, Peter of England, we're going to have a talk with you about this, Peter, because I can explain the raw material. The so-called uh, Orion Group calls itself to conquest, OK? Specifically, what do they do when they land? Ra, there are two types of landings, and the first entities amongst your people are taken on their craft and programmed for future use. Programmed or probed? Programmed. Okay, I'll just make Not sure. probed. <laughs> people get probed in their dreams because they believe in Marvel comics or characters from Marvel, okay? Or they watch UFO films, so they actually have dreams and they believe that they've been abducted by aliens. There are two or three levels of programming. First, the level that will be discovered by those who do research. Second, a triggering program. Third, a second and most deep triggering program, crystallizing the entity, thereby rendering it lifeless and useless as a kind of beacon. This is a form of landing. The second form is that of landing beneath the Earth's crust, which is entered from water. Again, in the general area of your Southern American and Caribbean areas and close to the so-called Northern Pole, the bases of these people are underground. Anybody want to have a look about, have a look about for some information about this? Surely the governments are not lying to us again, are they? No, they're there for our benefits. Remember, we're the beneficiaries. Well, they wouldn't invite us to the G7 for some strange reason. Mm. It says, uh, the questioner says, this is the most startling information you've ever given me, which I, I must admit I'm having difficulty believing, is that the United States has 573 craft of the type of, you've described. How many people of United States destination are aware of these craft, including th those who operate them? So I'm right, the number of your people varies, for there are needs to communicate at this particular time and space nexus, so that the number is expanding all the time. Approximate number is 1,500. Where are these crafts constructed? I am Ra, these crafts are constructed by one by one in two locations. In the desert or uh, arid regions of your New Mexico. Ah. And in the desert of arid regions of your so-called Mexico. Ah. Both installations being underground. Anybody know anything about these uh, installations where they're building spacecraft? Sounds like Area 52. Mm. Oh, yeah. It says, I am Ra, I speak spoke thusly, may I at this time reiterate that this type of information is very shallow and of no particular consequence compared to the study of the law of one. You remember what he said? For we not all one. However, we carefully watch these developments in hopes that your peoples are able to be harvested in peace. So there's a harvest going on over the next 800 years. Question, I'm, I'm totally aware this line of questioning is, uh, is of no consequence at all, but this particular information is so startling to me that it makes me question your validity on this. Mm. It says, I was in agreement with everything you have said. This is very startling to me. It just does not seem possible, possible to me that this secret could have been kept for 27 years. <laughs> they managed to keep Pearl Harbor secret for 60 bloody years? <laughs> and that we are operating these crafts. I apologise. It says these crafts are physical, craft built by physical people. Could I go into 